is an environmental restoration site. We are taking uh, dredge material that comes from the shipping channels leading up to the Port of Baltimore, and we are using that to build back habitat that was once lost in the Chesapeake Bay. Poplar is being constructed into two different types of habitat. We are going to have upland habitat with lots of trees, and then we are also going to have intertidal wetlands like the one behind me. Um, these intertidal wetlands, there's about four stages of construction that they go through. The first is inflow, bringing the dredge material onto the island. Then we do a process called crust management where we drain or dewater all that extra water from the cell. Then we uh, get tidal flow, we establish some tidal flow, we get um, the cells are open to the Chesapeake Bay. And then finally we plant. All of the plugs of grass within all of our wetland cells are hand planted. So we use standard excavators, we use long reach excavators, and this project back here this is what we call a pontoon excavator. Uh, what we do when we develop the cells is do, dig channels, and when we do that, a lot of the material is very soft, so we need to modify a piece of equipment to run through the cell without sinking. A few months back, uh, John asked me to come in to consult a project that was working on Poplar Island for high flotation excavator. We ordered the machine less the undercarriage. They were able to bring the machine in on a pallet from a ship uh, and directly shipped it to our third party vendor in Louisiana and they were to build fit everything from the ring gear below. Uh, that gives them the opportunity to test fit and make sure everything puts together correctly at the factory in Louisiana before shipping up to the Baltimore location. We're using two particular buying contracts. We call them assisted contracts. Um, and primarily we're using HGAC buy. Um, we've also used NJPA and a couple of the subdivision contracts in Maryland. But what it does is it simplifies the buying process for us. The discounts are already locked in. Uh, everything is made a lot easier due to the fact that I don't have to go through the very complicated process of putting together a book of specs uh, and sending it out for bids. And, what it helps us do is get quality equipment at a very good price. On a normal job site, we use a, what they call a dry track, conventional style track. Being the material that we have, it's dredge material, so it's real soft. Um, you get about 18 inches of crust on it, and below that, it's just like pudding. So that's when we go to the pontoon with the, the larger tracks, the less ground pressure. Uh, normally, and on this site, that's the only way that you're going to dig the channels. So we are supposed to receive total 68 million cubic yards of dredge material. We receive about two to three million cubic yards per year. And right now we have received a total of about 30 million cubic yards. We're estimating that we will be done receiving dredge material around the year 2030. Um, but after that, we will still have a lot of construction and planting to do. So the overall completion date is set for 2044. And when that happens, Poplar will just be remote island habitat.